Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to show y'all a new palette. Before we get into that, be sure you are subscribed. There's a red button down there. And there's also a bell you can hit so you can be notified when I upload new content. So this new palette I want to show you is the Ulta Exclusive Morphe 9A. You can only get this at Ulta. It won't be available on Morphe's website as far as I know. But here is the name. And it is only $12. So this is super affordable. The palette has nine colors. It's got golds and browns and a black and kind of tan colors. It's a really good neutral palette. And this thing has a mirror. That never happens with Morphe palettes. And I hope this is a trend that will be around to stay. So I definitely like this little palette. It is so affordable. It is so versatile and if you're not really into crazy colors and all you just wear is smoky eyes you want to try some brown smoky eyes and some gold lids like I did today this is perfect so this is the look I created with this palette and I am definitely very happy with it um, if you want to see how to do this and see how this palette performs just keep watching and I will see y'all in a second Bye guys. Hey, okay guys, so first thing we are going to do going in with this Morphe 9A, we are going to take it and we are going to use this color right here, myself, just to set our MAC paint pot, by the way. Oh, this mirror magical and we're going to go with our morphe 518 this is just a big fluffy blending brush to get that color down everywhere and it's a little darker than what i prefer but this appears to be the lightest matte in the palette so it will work All right, so the next thing we are gonna go in with is gonna be Witness right here in the middle. We're gonna take that on our M433 brush and we are just gonna put that in our crease. Okay, we are actually going to switch over to our M441 and use it to blend this crease out. Okay, so now that we've got that in there, we are going to take Bruise right here. And I think that is actually a play on coffee brewing. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to take it on the same M441 and just put it into the crease as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do for this crease is just take a tiny dab of Storm, still on this 441, and put it in the outer corner. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, but I think it's going to lay down mostly matte. that is going to be the crease and next I'm just going to take 
I'm going to take Surprise right up here. This is a nice gold color. And I'm just going to lay it down on the lid with my finger. Alright, so that is it for the lid. We are going to get off here while I put on some liner lashes and the rest of this face and I will be right back you guys. Okay guys, so I'm back. I have on my lashes and I have on the Lux Lash 802s or A02 that you saw in my video on Thursday. Uh, these are definitely some of my favorites. They look natural and they're actually not pulling at all and I'm so impressed. So now I'm going to take my 433 and just go in to witness and bruise and just put those two on my lower lash line. Okay, so now that those are on, I just need to toss some mascara. I'm going to use some uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise on these lower lashes real quick. Okay, so now that that is done, I wanted to show y'all my other new Morphe brush that I'm so excited about. Y'all can't tell, I always have trouble deciding what brush to highlight with. And I've seen that this M501 is everybody's favorite. So I'm going to take Prosecco Pop by Becca and just put this in here and highlight. And this is making it go on very nicely. I've needed a good highlighting brush for so long. It is ridiculous. But I heard people saying this is it and I saw it on Ulta. And I got it. Okay, and before I highlight my Cupid's bow, I need to go in with a lip, and I was thinking home sauce the Tarte split paint came in a boxy charm I actually traded somebody for this and I love it <clears throat> but I thought that would fit good with this gold look so we're gonna put that on okay so I'm definitely loving this color and I'm gonna go ahead and throw just a little bit of highlight on that Cupid's bow Y'all, I feel like I always go so overboard. Okay, and so I guess the last thing I need to do is my inner corner and my brow bone. And since there is no lighter shade in that palette, I'm just going to use my highlight for that. And this kind of ties the whole look together so that the highlight isn't just the highlight it's more the look i do want to try a look soon i saw how tati did a look where all she used or was it laura i think it was tati and all she used it was her 10 minute glam and all she used on her eyes was literally her bronzer and her highlight and it was so pretty and so simple and so quick so i definitely want to try that soon <clears throat> But I guess this will be the whole look and I'm going to get y'all a little slow-mo action. I hope y'all have an incredible day. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let me know if you like this video and if you're going to grab this palette. And I will see y'all on Tuesday. Bye guys.
Yeah.